Okay, so you guys all see this this room here, right? The EA, EA office. Probably looks very familiar to you guys if you've done at least one of these. So, a lot of searchlights in this room. And there's actually one searchlight in here specifically that you can't actually get to. Look at this. There's one right in here that you cannot get to at all. It's in there. Well, you can if you jump here, but... Who's, that, who's ever going to go in here, right? Who's ever going to? So... I to figure out something I've actually been wondering for, for a while. How much damage does this, does this searchlight do? Well, let's see. 8 damage, as you would expect, because the rest of them in the room also do 8 damage. So yeah, but there's also other ones here, like, that one does 8. It also does 8. Here it does 8. Some back here, they would probably would never go to as well. This one does 8. And right there, it does 8. One health, gotta make sure I keep watch of that. Yeah. Like, who's ever gonna go over there, right? So, many people wouldn't know about this. And this one, too. Eight. And apparently, there's something back here. I didn't know that. Okay. So, um. Yeah, okay. So, I guess I just recently learned that you can jump in here. I did not know you could do this. Why is there even a switch light in here? It doesn't make any sense. Like, who is going to go in here, and why is it so important that this room has a switch light in it? If someone goes in here, how is it going to be beneficial? Oh, I think I know. Oh god, I'm going to die. Okay, come on. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here, because I'm going to die. Okay. Because students could just, you know, go around this little hallway here, go over the chip. No, never mind, I don't think they can, because they can't get out. That's the only way in. So again, I don't know why there is a search light in there, but there is. Yeah, interesting. I'll do 8 damage. I was actually expecting it to have like a certain different value. I don't know why. Like this whole room is, is 8 damage, but I just thought it was interesting that there's that one search light in there that you can get to if you just jump at the right place. But it has the same damage value as the rest of them, so... so yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get through this without taking any more damage. There we go. I think that was it. I think that was it I had. had here. Yeah. Alright. No, it's just the curious stones over here now. Probably nothing. I'm not gonna stay here. Just more puzzles. Great. Okay, so. Yeah. Also, this, this, yeah, this thing here, this. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to explain this, but yeah, this is. I don't. I, like, I think this was here since GTO. I don't know how this happened, but. It happened. Oh, actually, you can glitch out. Why? Nope, oh, almost got it. Oh no, you can't actually, right? Because there's a collision. I forgot. The gray area has is collision all around, so you can't go in there. But if you manage to get into the gray somehow, actually, I can just do it right here. I'll just get this right. There. Go in the gray. There. You can see the rest of it. But so it's kind of funny why how it does that. Um. Go up here as well. Nothing here. And uh, yeah. I think, no, I think I'll actually set up the puzzle if I go over there. No, I'll, I'll check it out later on, but then I can just skip this whole puzzle if I want to, but I'm not going to. Please. Don't have to do that. Okay. Anyway, so yeah. Um. Okay, will I set up the puzzle if I go here? Yes, I will. I do set up the puzzle. Great, so that's something, but... In case you guys didn't know, those cogs that are generated here, they're actually already there. They're just invisible. Like, if you play a game, if you play Corporate Clash, you can click where the cogs would be at, and... Oh, look. Uh, what if I click this? I'm very, very curious now. <laughs> okay, I didn't go sad, so that's something. Okay. If you click where the cogs would normally be at, you will actually click on their name tag. So the cogs are already there, they're just inaccessible and invisible until you set up a puzzle. And if you do the puzzle correctly, then they despawn. So, yeah. I just escaped the video of this. I feel like I should have gone sad there. Usually if you do that, you go sad. Okay, now I'm curious. If I go back to the playground, will I be sad? I'm very nervous because I want to lose my level 7, but... Nope, not sad. Got all my gags and everything. Okay, well... That's something.